Hi and welcome back to another video. Today we are talking about Microsoft Excel and leading zeros. This will be a relatively quick tutorial so um, if you do find it useful do please click on the like button, hit subscribe and tap that bell. It means a lot to the channel. Um, and with all that said let's jump on over to Microsoft Excel. Okay so in this example here I've just got a blank sheet um, of data. Um, and what I would like to do is actually um, put some product codes in here. Now there are several different ways that you can handle leading zeros but um, for example if I have some product codes um, that start with a zero and they go one two three four five six seven eight nine and then I press return the leading zero drops off. So the quickest way to actually um, fix this is to use a single quotation. Now if I go quotation or single quotation zero and then press return. Now the quotation isn't visible. It's there obviously within the formula bar but it's not visible um, when you press return and it now includes the zero at the beginning. This is one method to um, actually include that leading zero. However it's not my preferred method. Um, so the next um, product uh, code that I put in here what I'd like to do is actually, before I type anything, come over to um, the Home tab, come across here to where it says General under the Formatting, and actually from the drop-down menu, select Text. Once it says Text, I can now go ahead and type in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, press Return, and it will keep that leading zero. And the reason for this is because Excel has been told explicitly that this has to be treated as text and everything inside that cell is text and not a number. Whereas where we enter it before, Excel tries to interpret um, your inputting um, numbers and it understands it as numbers. So we need to tell Excel to keep it as text. Again, that is one method um, to kind of control uh, your leading zeros. The next um, way of doing this is kind of actually maybe potentially even um, one of my preferred ways. Um, so if I just open up this here we can go to uh, custom. Um, so in this example, okay so the third product code, we come over to the home tab, come across to where it says general. Um, in the bottom corner here we have the ability to just pop out our number formatting and basically this is our format cells um, dialog box. Go to custom um, and then in here where you say type, we want to put in um, the number of zeros that represent the length of our um, product code. So in our example, our product code should be 10 uh, digits. So I'll type in 10 zeros. Um, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. And when I click OK and then I go to type in here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 it will put the zero in the beginning because it's expecting it to be 10 digits long. Now that way is definitely one of my preferred methods um, of actually you know, using um, the custom formatting to your advantage. Now there is one other way you can do this um, which is the fourth method um, and if we just go back to our um, dialog box here for formatting cells, drop down to custom Again, we'll just delete out the general. Um, and what we're after here is actually a double quotation. And then if we want a leading zero, we just put a zero. Leading quotation, uh, sorry, double quotation, and then put a hashtag. Okay, um, and the hashtag represents number. So we're just going to click OK. Um, and then I can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine press return and it puts that leading zero in again. So two different ways of approach. Um, so this first one here, um, if I put a, another nine at the end, it will take the zero off. Whereas if I put another nine at the end of this one, it keeps that leading zero always. Okay, so if you're going to, for example, um, if I just go one, two, one, two, three, um, change these just to numbers to start with, pull that down, lose that. Right, so I have a, a series of numbers from 1 to 20 um, and I decide that this range of cells just here, I go to format them as custom 
um, and I want these all of these numbers to be um, 10 digits what I would then do would be to highlight the general delete that and type in 10 zeros so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 click OK okay so this is leading zeros and this is method one okay I'm going to copy these to here but paste them as values and now we can see my codes are all the same length and they all have leading zeros and as my numbers expand they change um, the number of zeros that lead in front of them obviously if um, the numbers I'm pasting in exceed 10 then I'm going to start losing digits off because I've told Excel that this range of cells um, I'm expecting only 10 digits okay so method 2 is my preferred method for leading zeros so if you have a specific number so in my organization we generally only want one leading zero um, what I can do is from my um, format cells go to customs come here remove my general in double quotations I will put one leading zero and then I'll put a hashtag at the end and the hashtag represents numbers I'll click OK I will then grab this same series of numbers and then I'll paste them as values here except this time they all have a leading zero and that is it guys if you found this useful um, then please do click on the like button hit subscribe and tap that bell it means a lot to the channel and I will catch you guys in the next video